Jeff Picaccio, you're the inventor and developer of something called Matchbox. You might not think about Matchbox as being something that you would want to have in your airplane, so tell me about what it is that you've come up with. Well, Matchbox is, a, um, is uh, some small electronics that we designed speci specifically for private pilots and flight sport. It was uh, originally designed uh, as a very small monolithic box, and we got it so small that it looked like a Matchbox. So we ended up calling the company Matchbox Aeronautical Systems. What does it do? Well, this particular one started off being an altitude alert system. So we actually measure pressure altitude with some digital sensors, and the pilot gets a uh, indication if he went too high or too low uh, above his cruise altitude. That was our first technique. And then we went into a tank timer that worked in the same matchbox, but more and more people wanted to maybe get it interfaced into their audio of their, of their headphones. So we eventually built a bigger matchbox with some very special amplifiers that were shaped and equalized specifically for aviation headphones. That way we can get some really good sound quality out of them if they want to play their MP3 player through it. So now this one unit, monolithic, all in one chassis, now has a pressure altitude system, a tank timer so they can keep themselves straight as far as fuel management is concerned, and they can get really good sound quality from their MP3 player, or they can plug their iPhone in there and they can actually talk through their headphones, through the iPhone, seamlessly. ATC always takes precedence, so when the intercom comes on or everybody's talking on the intercom, the music will turn off, and of course, anybody on the cell phone gets canned. And uh, that's basically the new operation of the new Matchbox flagship unit, which is called the FC-1, the Flight Companion. Freedom through performance. At Cirrus, performance is not simply the measurement of a single design parameter. Rather, it's a total package. It's optimum balance of speed, efficiency, comfort, safety, ease of flight, and quality. We call it Cirrus Flying 2.0. Aren't you ready to feel the freedom? Well, this is the, uh, the actual audio interface. I'm actually speaking through the other co-pilot headphones. We're listening to music in the background. And any time I talk, the music, of course, gets muted out. And this is exactly what would happen with ATC if they, if they were to call, or anybody in the cockpit that were to call. Um, we made it so that ATC takes precedence at all times. Whether it's cell phone operation, because it's got a cell phone interface, we can talk in the cell phone just like we're doing right now. Uh, but again, we always want ATC to always take precedence. Um, there's also an alarm system for the uh, pressure altitude. I'll demonstrate that. So when you turn the unit on, anytime you are talking, of course, we have a voice actuated blue LED that comes on to tell you that there is talking going on in the unit. Now. And then once I once I add the pressure altitude set, it'll make a little tone like that, and that has just set your altitude. And so you're cruising along, say, at 5,500 feet, and uh, you're just doing fine. It keeps you within that plus minus 100 range. Uh, unless we were to jump up another 100 feet in the air, I wouldn't be able to get the, the pressure altitude to actually go up. Um, we're not changing altitude right now, so I can't show you how that alarm works. But uh, if you wanted to change altitude to maybe go to 6,000, 7,000, 7, 8,000 feet, that's what you have to do is hold the standby button for three seconds like this. It then turns off with that other tone, and then from there you can change altitudes, and then go high up and then reset yourself to another altitude like this. So the system is uh, completely morphed into the intercom, and uh, we take advantage of not only the, the intercom amplifiers, but we also take advantage of the squelch controls, the noise reduction, and also the, uh, the special equalization used specifically for the voice portion of the aircraft's uh, comm system. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. What is it that caused you to have this idea? How did this all come about? Well, it all came about primarily because I started flying about 10 years ago and liked to do a lot of cross-country flying, so I bought an airplane that would do that. 
and uh, found myself flying with either an IFR or, or, or flight following, where it would get kind of boring except listen for ATC, and it would be nice to listen to music, and I'm a real music buff. So I decided I would make something that would carry music. Uh, at first, I went and purchased some, some products that were already built, and they weren't very good. They had very little output, and they didn't make my, sense, my headphones sound very good at all. So I decided to just build my own since I'm an EE, and I've been in the audio industry for years, so I built my own amplifiers, and my CFI, who happens to be an ex-FedEx pilot, said, thought it would be a good idea to why don't we market this thing. So we started marketing the amplifiers, the tank timers, and the, uh, the altitude alerts, and future products in the future. So tell me about some of those future products. What's in the pipeline, can, or can you? Well, I, we have some intellectual properties we're working on right now. We're trying to keep it a little hush-hush. But we'll probably eventually move into the headphone area. And the headphones will be, again, a Matchbox-related headphone, where it'll be high quality and with reasonable amount of dollars. So the guys don't have to go out and spend tons of money on aeronautical stuff for their airplanes that they want to put in. So what product would this replace then for somebody coming to you and saying, I'd like to look at it, what does it take the place of? It really doesn't replace anything because nobody makes anything like it. You can get some audio interface products that you can purchase online or anything like that. You can also purchase altitude holds and tank timers, but you can't get it all interfaced into one box. And you can't get it interfaced where all of them have both audible and illuminated alarms. So now you can literally fly and not look at the instruments. You can literally stay within that 100-foot window for ATC. Makes ATC very happy. And you're just cruising on, listening to music, and you're right on speed. So it's very convenient. What kind of response have you gotten here great at Sebring? Response. We have a great response this week. Uh, this is our first time here at Sebring, and uh, I didn't know what I was going to expect. And we had a great turnout. The weather turned out pretty good. And uh, a lot of people were just enthusiastic, not only about, not only about the pressure altitude, which I, I knew would be, hap would be really, really strong, but they love the headphones. I mean, the amplifiers on this are just absolutely stunning. And that's gonna be the big difference. People don't realize how good their headphones can really be <laughs> when they hook them up to a proper amplifier. Jeff Picaccio with Matchbox, thanks hey, for talking to us on Aero thank News. Thank you so much, appreciate it.